I get to share with you today my favorite Old Testament Hebrew word, and that's the word hesed. Chesed. It's variously translated the goodness of God, the mercy of God, the steadfast love of God, the loving kindness of God. I think the meaning of it is captured best if you say that it is God's covenant faithfulness. Covenant faithfulness. God's faithfulness to his promises. Now, the Old Testament is full of the use of the word chesed. Psalm 107 is especially full of the use of chesed. It starts with it. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love, chesed, endures forever. Psalm 107, verse 1. Not only does it begin with it, it ends with it. 43. Whoever is wise, let him attend to these things. Let them consider the steadfast love of the Lord. That's chesed. And it's consistently translated in my version of Psalm 107. And if you count it, and I did count it in the Hebrew, on my count, at least six times the word chesed is used throughout Psalm 107. Chesed, chesed, chesed. The covenant faithfulness of God. This word chesed is, is, is especially beautifully used in Exodus 34, where God is proclaiming his name, his name embodying all that he is, who he is at the very center. And he says, the Lord, the Lord, abounding in grace and truth. That grace is hesed. The Hebrew word lying behind that word grace there is hesed. When we go to the New Testament in John chapter 1, John chapter 1 has the background of Exodus 32, 33, 34, all through it. It speaks of Jesus' body as the tabernacle, like the tabernacle in the wilderness. And then it proclaims to us who Jesus is and tells us in verse 14 of chapter 1 that Jesus was full of grace and truth. Jesus displaying the beauty of the Father was full of grace, chesed, and truth. And if I am right in saying the Exodus chapters are behind John chapter 1, then John is clearly identifying Jesus with the presence that proclaimed his name in Exodus 34. Jesus is Jehovah God of Hesed. Let me underscore my point a little bit more. Look at these verses in, in Psalm 107. You know, I'm going to go ahead and read all of these, verses 23 through 30. Follow along. Paint the picture in your mind. Some went down in the sea, to in ships doing business on the great waters. They saw the deeds of the Lord, his wondrous works in the deep. For he commanded and raised the stormy wind, which lifted up the waves of the sea. They mounted up to heaven. They went down to the depths. Their courage melted away in their evil plight. They reeled and staggered like drunken men and were at their wit's end. Speaking of the sailor, sailors, a scene should be rising in your mind. I continue. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He made the storm be still, and the waves of the sea were hushed. Then they were glad that the waters were quiet, and he brought them to their desired haven. Is that not the scene of Jesus who on multiple occasions calmed the storm. It is Jesus who brings the storm and who calms the storm for those very, very troubled 12. 
on the sea. And lest there be any doubt, on, those time, on that time that Jesus calmed the sea, in the book of John, the Bible makes it clear that when Jesus was with them in the boat, immediately they were at their destination. These very words, and he brought them to their desired haven. Fulfilling these very words. Yes, Jesus is the God of Hesed, of Psalm 107. Isn't he beautiful? He is so good. Look, in the storms of our lives, we must remember who it is who brings the storm, who is the master of the storm, and who calms the storm. It is God's covenant faithfulness that brought the storm as well as takes us through the storm and calms the storm. Let's trust in him. Let's be wise. Let's attend to these things. Let us consider the steadfast love of the Lord. In the song we are about to sing, the song is called Magnificent. It highlights the magnificence of King Jesus. And it has these words, You who calmed the raging sea that came crashing over me. Our hearts, especially when our hearts lose focus on our loving Lord, can be tossed to and fro by the winds of our circumstance, by the waves of our emotions. But it is Jesus who comes and says, Peace. Peace. The peace that I have won, Jesus says. The peace that I can give that the world does not give. Peace. Be still. May you hear his voice and echo his voice, preach to your heart, and consider anew the steadfast love of the Lord, the Lord King Jesus, our God of Chesed. Jesus, you are the God 
who raises the storm. You are our Lord and lover who calms it. You are all of these things. And all these things proclaim your chesed, your faithful covenant love, promise-keeping love to us. And we love you in response. Jesus, in your name we pray. Amen.